Welcome for our TL online trainings. In this session, we are going to talk about document of records. We call it as uh, DOR also. In human capital management, when we have some thousands of employees, it's required for the organizations to maintain the documents of an employee. So first we'll see what is DOR, document of records. In the name itself, we can find maintaining the documents of the employees. As the name suggests, it is a document which contains details about individuals. When I say individuals, like it could be anything. It, it may be the employee driving licenses, visas information, pay slips information, medical certificates, passport information, any uh, social security number information, the document they would like to go for, maintain in a digital format. Why we required this document of records? for the organizations because it will work or it will act as a digital repository within the application. We know that we are hiring employees. When we are hiring employee, we'll capture employee general information in uh, text format. Text are in the records like employee, personal information, identification, employment, like which job, position, grade. This is all we are going to capture, but we are not going to capture any employee documents information. If we would like to go for maintain the employee documents as a digital repository within the application, we, this document of records concept will be useful. And accessibility, once the documents are uploaded, we can restrict, we can, uh, we can restrict this accessibility based on the profile option. We can set the profile option and through that profile option only, users will be able to access the documents, what documents they are supposed to access. We'll be talking about that in our next uh, white paper in our next video. Approval routing. So whenever we go for upload the documents, we would like to have some approval routing option. Yes, we can configure for this. Uh, when employee trying to upload, uh, he may be required uh, the approval from his higher authority, his management then we can also configure the approval routing for document of records. And document expiry notification. So in case of driving license and visa documents, when employee trying to you know, upload his driving license, if it is uh, end date is there, automatically the notification will be sent to an employee. If the employee has not submitted some of the documents, we can also go for send the notifications to the employees, right? So these all are the benefits of a document of records whenever we are going to work. So to configure this document of records in human capital management, what we have to do is first, we need to define document categories. First, we have to define document categories here. And within that, we will go for define document subcategories. Document subcategories. Then we will go for define document type. We'll go for define type of document because uh, when you are trying to define a document type, it will ask us, uh, tell me what is the document uh, category and what is the document subcategory. So that's why we will go for first uh, define this category, then subcategories. This is all basically lookups we'll be configuring. Then we'll go for a defined document type. And then we will go for attach this document type DOR to the employee from the person management, we'll search for an employee. And once we search employee, we'll go for attach this DOR so that employee, whenever they log in, obviously we'll assign the role called employee role, right? When we assign the employee role, then employee is able to log in and see the me option from the me option from the navigator menu and employee will be able to upload their uh, documents. If approvals are enabled, then system will look for the approval options for those documents. Here it is. Let me show you the setups, uh, like where exactly we'll be configuring this here. Let's go to the FSM environment. We can do it from here also. Or we can go for global search here. First, we are supposed to define the document category, right? So where do we define the document category? So we'll go to this task here. Define documents. We'll choose this all. Define documents. Go for define documents here. Whenever we go for a define documents option, we'll see that here. Lookups. 
document records descriptive flux field, document types, and document type descriptive flux fields. Here we can find. We know that lookups are there in our human capital management, not only in HCM, we'll find in other domains also, providing some list of values to the user, where we user, user can choose the code and meaning we can have both the values if it is required. And we have three different types of lookups, right? What are that? We have extensible user defined. Another one is standard lookup. This is our document type which we have here. So that document type which we will be using is to configure the document type. Here it is. Click on this document type lookup. We can find document category. So the moment whenever we are working with uh, lookups, first we have to find what type of this. It is extensible lookup. It is extensible lookup. So it means uh, we can go for add new values and we cannot delete the values provided by Oracle. In case if we add some values, then it's fine, but uh, that can be deleted. But the values which are provided by Oracle will not be able to you know, uh, delete that. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to add one uh, category here. This is, let's say, look up code here, legal agreement. Employee, we can have any code here, employee. The sequence start date is from 2020. And I would like to go with from first. Choose the date here. And the meaning I'm going to specify employee legal agreement. This is your uh, document category document category we are going to specify here it is save and close once the document category is defined here once we define the document category then we will go back and we will go for manage extended lookup manage extended lookup we look at here the first one document categories that's what we have defined within that we can have the subcategories document subcategories for this what we'll do is extended look cm extended lookup codes whenever we go to this task we'll find first lookup type here we can see document category is there so within the document category, we can choose here country for which country you would like to go for. Again, this is a lookup type which we are going to use and uh, provide this lookup code. So let me go for add here. So I'm not going to choose any country. If we don't choose the country, what happened? Your document is going to be valid for every employee for all the countries. And this is the lookup code, employee legal agreement. This one only we did in our previous setup. This, this value only we have added. We have already options, audit, benefits, compensation, employment, expense, document categories. And we added ourselves employee legal agreements. Okay. So this is lookup we have added here. So whenever we are working with our uh, subcategory here, we will be specifying uh, extended. So let's go for specify extended code. If needed, we will be specifying here. Specify legal here. We can have extended name. Here it is. We can have the extended name here. I'm going to maintain the same. Let's say this is legal document specific it's for all enterprises it's for all enterprises i'm going to 
specify here. I'm going to specify this is for all enterprises here. Okay. So if at all we want to go for add additional information, this is nothing but our descriptive flux field. In case if we want to go for add any additional fields, we can go for add here. This is related for descriptive flux field. Other than these fields, if we want to go for have some more fields here, then this additional information we are going to use. Save this transaction. And then click done button. So what we have done now, we have defined document category and as well as the subcategories here. We can. Now we'll go for document type. So we'll, we'll be configuring the document type here. This is the page where we will be creating the document. So go to the task here, document types here. If we, if we search the existing document types, for example, the category, so this is employee legal agreement. If I choose this, I can find the subcategory, right? Are there any documents under this category and subcategory? We don't find any values right here because we are not at created. Both are the new one. For example, I would like to have some documents related for an absence and general subcategory, click search button, and we'll be able to find leave approval document, leave extension, leave request, return to work, other than medical reports, like that we have a number of right. So if at all we want to go for create any DOR here, document of record type, document, uh, make sure that category is there. Category is mandatory. That's what we did. But subcategory is not mandatory. Subcategory is going to give more information about your document. And when we are creating a document, is it for person level or assignment level? So whatever the document type you are going to create, you want to assign this to the employee person or you want to assign at assignment level. Assignment in the sense, when we are hiring an employee, we will hire an employee to a particular job or position or grade or location or department, right? This is all we call it as assignment. It's a set of information which includes all this, right? Employee can have either one or multiple assignment. Minimum one assignment will be there, which is primary assignment. We can also have multiple assignments. In case this document type, I would like to allow only for a particular assignment, not for the entire employee, not for other assignments. Then we can choose that assignment level also. And then we can specify the approvals you want to have, the approvals or not, and other options are there. Okay, so th this we will look into the next video. In next video, I'll prepare how to create a document type and how we can assign this to the employee and how the employee can go ahead for uploading this particular document. So here, what are the setups we discussed? We talked about how we can go for create, uh, you know, our own uh, document category and subcategory. And we just entered the document type page. We are not at created. So in the next video, I'll explain how we can create a document type, document type, how we can assign to the employees and then how it, the employees can log in and upload that particular documents into this applications. We'll look into that. Okay, thank you.